G'day, and welcome to another episode of Ian Smithson's Photography. This morning, and it's very early in the morning at the moment, it's about uh, quarter to six in the morning, uh, another hour and a half or more until sunrise but I'm going to go out to uh, Sugarloaf Rock where I was last night photographing the sky and uh, hopefully get some sunrise shots of there and then go up to Cape Naturalist um, to the lighthouse and uh, down to the beach and photograph some of the rocks um, and the beach uh, down there. Uh, not sure how I'm going to go this morning at Sugarloaf uh, according to the photographer's ephemeris, the sunrise should be in a good position to get side lighting, uh, but there's quite a uh, high um, hill or ridge um, running down the middle of the cape uh, that the sun will be rising behind. So it might take uh, 20, 30 minutes or so before the sun actually hits the rock, but uh, hopefully we'll get a bit of glow in the sky behind. Uh, unfortunately, this morning the sky is completely clear, so unless we get some clouds that come over, uh, in the next hour or two. There won't be a lot of uh, colour in the sky, uh, but we'll see if we can get some, uh, some shots down there. So let's head off. Sugarloaf Rock, still dark, but there's just a glow in the eastern sky coming up over those hills and uh, should be good. It's completely clear uh, in the sky though, so uh, no clouds, but uh, we'll get up onto the lookout and have a look, um, take some shots from there um, and then explore around a little bit closer to, uh, to the shore and see if we can find some uh, interesting shots with uh, some foreground. Uh, the lookout is really just a, uh, an overlook. Uh, gives you a good idea of what the place looks like, but I uh, want to get some more foreground interest with some of the, uh, the rocks and, uh, and shrubs and things uh, on the cliff face. So uh, we'll just wait for a bit of light and uh, then see what we get. Well, as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of pink in the sky, so I'm just gonna do a really quick intro here and then start taking some shots. The sun has risen in the background, but it hasn't quite yet uh, got above the, uh, the ridge, so there's no direct sunlight on the rocks here. You can see that little pink glow uh, up there in the, uh, the skies indicating that it's coming. I've got the Pentax K1 here with a 24 to 70 millimeter Pentax lens on it. I've got a polarising filter on it, not to polarise the sky because it's really not going to have much effect in this slow light, uh, but to take a couple of stops off so that I can slow the shutter speed down. Um, I've also got a two-stop neutral density graduated filter on there um, just to darken the sky a little bit and balance it out with the darker sea and the foreground. Uh, so I'm going to take a couple of shots here and uh, hopefully uh, get some good weight for that sun to creep up and get some side lighting on these rocks. Um, and then we're going to go down here over uh, behind me uh, to get a little bit closer and further down um, to get a bit more rocks and so on in the foreground. So uh, we'll give it a go and that's what we get.
All right, the sun is just about to peak over that hill. So I've moved over here onto these rocks so that I can get more foreground here with rocks and shrubs um, in the shot. The sky is really pinking up now and uh, it's going to look good. So uh, we'll just take a few more shots and uh, then go and get another viewpoint lower down. So the sun's now hitting the top of these rocks and I'm going to take a few more shots here and uh, get down lower um, before the uh, sun gets too high in the sky and we lose that nice coloured light. So one of the best things that you can do when you're looking for a spot to shoot from is to take the camera off the tripod. It's too hard to, uh, to get the right angle when you're standing there with the tripod in front of you because you uh, quite often just come and plonk the tripod somewhere and then try and get the best angle um, from that spot. But it makes more sense to come around and walk around and, uh, and just check out a few spots. So I'm going to have a go at that. Uh, then set the tripod up and take some shots. The sun's just starting to creep over here now, so I'd better hurry. It pays to check your equipment when you're in the field. My remote microphone battery went flat right at the end of the Sugarloaf rock shoot and I didn't even notice until I'd finished at this second location at Cape Naturalist. So enjoy the music and enjoy a couple of shots of the waves.